Hey everybody, it's Kyle here. Um, I am considering purchasing a new used camera lens. So in this video, I would like to show you what I look for in a used lens to minimize my chances of getting stuck with a lemon. Of course, the first thing you should do is a very quick superficial look of just at the lens itself, looking for scratches, nicks, dirt, any kind of general imperfections. Once you've had a quick look at the outside and it seems like it's good, it's time to look at the important parts, the optics and the mechanical elements. So you'll want to open the aperture as wide as possible and look at the lens through a light source. If you have a flashlight, this works exceptionally well. When you have light going through a lens, any dust or scratches or any imperfections will be amplified. If it's not perfect, that's not a deal breaker. It's just this is a way to let you make sure you see everything. So hold it up. No scratches, very small amount of dust. And so the optics are fine. There are no scratches. Uh, mold and mildew is another serious concern. I don't have any moldy lenses to show as an example, but it looks just kind of like a frosted crackle pattern, almost like ice on a window in those cold morning days. Okay, now you'll want to check the mechanical elements. So if you fiddle with the aperture, is it nice and responsive or is it a little bit of a fight? This one's nice and smooth. Uh, you'll want to look at the aperture blades. Are they consistent and even or a little bit irregular? So in this lens, they seem pretty perfect. Here's an example on an older FD lens of mine, where if you'll notice the aperture blades are a little bit slow or delayed compared to actually turning the aperture. They're just a little bit stiff and sticky. The lens still works, but not as fast as it should. So this is wide open, it's fine, but closed down, I run into some issues with this one. Um, this lens, on the other hand, the aperture blades don't close at all, so this is an old Canon FD 50mm 1.8, and it's only a 1.8. I can't get the blades to close at all. They are jammed. So if I was looking for a lens like this, I wouldn't pay more than 20 bucks because it's, it's only wide open, and most lenses suck wide open. Also, you want to look out for little gobs of oil on the aperture blades that seem like it's too much. Um, Oil spots on camera stuff can be an issue. Uh, this lens, no excessive oil, uh, no signs of corrosion. Focus ring. Uh, this is one of the old AFD lenses, so it has a little bit of stuff going on, but uh, it's it doesn't sound like it's got like sand or anything obstructing it. The next thing to look for is the actual lens mount itself. Uh, you want to look up, look at this really closely for signs of wear. Um, the metal in this, generally, when metal is machined, it'll have nice, crisp, sharp edges, and over time, it'll slowly get worn, almost like it's being sanded down, and the edges get smoothed and rounded over time. So, I can, you know, the the back of this still looks really nice and sharp and angular. So that tells me that this is a lens that has not been used very much. All right, uh, since this is an old um, AFD lens by Nikon, it uses the screw motor for focus. So have a look at that for wear and tear around that. Um, doesn't look like it's really seen much autofocus use at all. You wanna check all of the electronic connectors to see if there's any signs of corrosion or buildup or gunk on those. They look fine. Give your lens a shake and listen for any rattling sounds that sound that seem concerning. Nothing on this lens. Um, if it's a zoom lens or anything extends, which nothing extends on this lens, so I don't have to worry about it. But if it has a front end element that comes out, you want to check it for um, if it wobbles or seems like it has too much play if it's not in there securely. But that's not a concern with this lens check the filter thread. Filter threads tend to wear very quickly, so damage in those will seem more of a concern than it actually is, but a little dent can be severe. The only way to tell is to actually screw on a filter, and if it goes on nice and easy, it's fine. If it has a slight little dent, you'll know when you try to put that filter on. This is a pass. I, I like this. I'm, I'm gonna buy it. 